Okay guys, welcome back. Um, in this video we're going to check the axis direction movement. Um, that is, we want to make sure the servo motors are turning the screws in the right direction. I've put the belts on my screws to the uh, motors. I put the belts on, so now the motors are connected to the lead screws for each axis. So now we're going to test the direction movement and uh, we're using the all-in-one DC installation manual as a guide. It says to manually move all axes to the center of their travel to provide safe clearance when the motors are connected to the machine. Well I've got my X and Y moved. The Z axis is down about an inch so it's not all the way up in the positive direction. Then it says manual tuning. Manual tuning of the KP, KI, and KD can be performed to reduce motor movement error. In most cases this is unnecessary. Users experiencing excessive servo motor whine or singing difficulty with motors holding position or motors oscillating should manually tune their values. Additionally in some cases users may get small may in some cases users may get very small accuracy increase by manual tuning. Manual, tu manual, manual tuning is covered in Tech Bolton 260 which can be found here and there's a hot link in the user's guide. Um, the electronic version of it would take you to Tech Bolton 260. Power up the machine, release e-stop to provide power to the servo motors. Okay, so my machine's powered up, release the e-stop, So my servo motors are powered up. Check the home configuration. During the board level test in section 4.1, we changed the machine home at power up to, to jog. Double check to make sure it's still set to jog as demonstrated in 6.3.2. So let's do that. So we go F1 setup, F1 setup config, password, um, control, machine home at power up is still set to jog so we'll save that and we'll leave that. Danger, since your limit switches have not yet been configured correctly, homing to limit switches right now could cause physical damage to your machine. So we're manually jogging. Make sure the feed rate is turned down to around 10%. So we need to up it, so that's a control plus. Okay, feed rate is now up to 10%. Press the start button on the jog panel, or Alt-S from the keyboard. Well, since I don't have a jog panel, it's Alt-S. So Alt-S. Okay, it's so a machine home set. Okay, this will cause the machine to set home right where it is. Slow jog each of the servo motors, checking that each axis can move. Okay, so we're going to do Alt J, and here we use the arrows right and left. And uh, we want to go into continuous, which is Control I. Let me bring you down so you can see the axis. Okay, that should do it. Okay, we're going to jog the x-axis. There you can see the x-axis hand wheel turning. And get my book out of the way here. And I'll step aside so you can see the y-axis move. the up and down arrow when you're in the Alt-J. And then the Z axis is page up, page down. And if you can see the, the quill is coming down. This way you can see some of the 
We should be able to see the, the display and the machine. Okay, let's jog X again. You can watch the DROs. Okay, and Y. And then Z, I'll go down. It's moving quite slowly, but the Z is coming down. Okay. Okay, so everything can move. It says configure servo motors to move in the correct di direction. Mechanically connect the motors to the machine. It is important to understand that the correct servo motor direction is determined by motion of the tool relative to the part. This is not necessarily the same as the motion of the table. For more information on this procedure, also covered in Technical Bulletin 137, which can be found here, and it gives you a link to that. For axes that move the table when the tool remains stationary, such as the X and Y axis on a typical Bridgeport knee mill, the table motion is opposite of the tool motion. For axes that move the tool, such as the quill on a knee mill, axis motion is the same as tool motion. Figure 633 and 634 below describe this concept. So, now we're going to make sure everything's working right. So, the Z, when we're going down, that's Z minus. That's the negative direction when we're going up, that's Z plus. So, let's check that again. Oh, it just got dripped on. Okay, so I'm going down in the Z minus and the quill is going down in the Z minus direction, so we're good there. And then we'll go back up. It's going back up. And you can see it's going, the number on the Z axis DRO is getting smaller and it's going to go in the positive direction, so that's good. Okay, let's do uh, Y. So the table moves that way to the back in the Y negative direction. So it goes back. The, all right, and then the, so that, that really the tool is coming forward. The table goes back. So let's see if we've got that okay. Okay, so I'm going in the Y minus direction. And the table is going back. So that's good. Coming in the Y, as we go down, and you can see in the Y minus direction, the, the DRO is going down. You know, one way, let's, let's make this easier to see up here. Let's go set up part, and then we'll set zero. So we're setting the part, that this would be where you would set part zero. Next axis set zero. Next axis set zero. So now you can see what's what there. All right, so we're going to go in the Y minus direction, and you can see it's going down. So we're heading in the right direction. The table is moving. It is moving that way. And then uh, let's check the X. So X negative, the table goes that way. So the table movement is going to my right. Okay, I'm moving X positive and it's actually going in the negative direction. If I go next negative, okay, so I'm 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 pressing this the the left arrow and I should be going in the negative direction. And instead, my table is moving this way. Table is moving to the left. So that needs to be reversed, and that's what we're doing here. Let's double check the Y minus. Okay. I don't know if you can see it, but the table is moving, moving back, so that's okay. 
I'm going to move the table to about the middle again. And we'll look at the Z. You see Z is going in the minus direction and pressing the page down button. You can see the quill is coming down. And bring the quill back up. It's in the positive direction. Positive is up. And bring it back halfway. Okay. My machine's moving in the right direction. On to the next section.